Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, Monday morning and getting ready to head to work, but before I do, I want to do a quick little video for um, this new sword that I got. It is from True Swords and it is in Eida. And I had one sword that basically I let dull, and that's what I was using as an Eida. And I started looking, and I guess. Uh, <laughs> What I was always reluctant about was spending a lot of money on something really expensive that was going to be dull when I could buy a sword that would be sharp. So, I never really wanted to buy just a straight Yaido. But, um, a couple of months ago, I got this. This was from True Swords. I believe it was about 40 or 50 bucks. And it is an Yaido, and it's actually. Um, very nice. I, I like it a lot, and it's what I use for most of my dry training now. Now, um, aesthetically, I don't know what happened here. I think this happened shortly after I got it, but as you can see, um, I guess the uh, Sanagawa only goes along the sides. And I don't know if that's true on my other swords or not, but if it is, I haven't noticed it, and it hasn't been a problem. Um, now, the sword feels very good. Like I said, it's very solid, and uh, it's very sturdy. It won't fall out, you know. And it's got a nice handle. Nothing shakes. It's a very simple design. One of the cool things I want to show you was this almost matte-like finish, and I actually like this a whole lot. I think I like this um, like 10 times better than all the lacquered sides just because the set is really strong and on the lacquered sides, you know, you probably have noticed that it shows like oil smears and stuff like fingerprints and stuff like that and really, if, I mean, if you want to display it or something like that, you pretty much have to wipe it down which isn't really a big deal but on this you don't have to worry about any of that. and. It has a very good feel. Feels like a very hard plastic, pretty much like a polymer or something like that. Um, here's the handguard. Um, let's see. It's got like a little dragon manuki. Can't really see it because the, the cloth is all around it, but it's not bad looking. I mean, everything fits really well. And uh, I just want to show you guys the actual sword. So. Let me bust this out. And also, I didn't get around to doing this, but I went to like a little drugstore like Walgreens or Rite Aid or whatever you might have around you. And I saw like a whole box full of these noodles. And I really like cutting noodles, as I was talking about last year. But I actually seldom buy them. Uh, this is the first time I bought them this year, I believe. And they were only a dollar each. And they're not extremely long. They're probably like, I don't know, close to five feet maybe, yeah, maybe four feet, but they're actually, I feel like they're perfect because about almost the, the length of its tummy mat or something like that, and so if you can get like a nice little something to stick this on, you could probably have a lot of fun, so if you guys can find a similar deal, I mean I got 15 for $15 and I thought that was awesome, so I have these ready to go. But let me uh, show right, you. So, as you can see, um, I just kind of polished this thing down. It has a fake moon, but it, it does look nice. Um, you might be able to see that there. And it's just like a very simple wave pattern, but uh, completely dull. This is completely rounded edge. I'm like putting pressure on. And there's no way you would cut yourself with this, which is uh, <laughs> extremely nice if you're trying new things or. You're in you know, a tight spot, you don't want to hit anything or cut anything. Um, another thing I like about the sword a lot is the weight. The balance is good. It feels like a real sword and it gives you a really good feedback when you get a nice cut. This is a little bit. And I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that, but it has a very nice sound.
so that's really just a quick view of this. I wasn't going to show any, anything special with it. Um, it's just a great tool for training. It has bow heat. Um, the point is actually very sharp. And in all seriousness, if this was all you had, you know, if you're, if you're kind of <coughs> in the same mindset as I was, like, you know, why would I buy a dull sword? <clears throat> Especially if it's going to cost me a couple hundred bucks when I could buy a sharp sword and just practice with that. But in terms of safety, this is definitely, I think this is the way to go. And uh, it's still, you know, it's still going to rust if it gets wet. It's a, a carbon steel. So it's a good, good steel. And it'll teach you how to take care of it. You can go out and beat on like some small green brush, you know, saplings and stuff like this. And believe it or not, even though it does have a completely rounded edge, this uh, really good cut, you'll be surprised with how much stuff you can actually cut. Um, you know, like I said, the tip's sharp, so you can even practice just um, like slicing a, a leaf, you know, and trying to keep it still on the tree, or, you know, different little random things like that. But if you're looking for an Iaido and you're not sure where to go, check out the Misashi um, Iaido. I think it might actually be 50 bucks now. But I got mine for 40. Uh, shipping was great. It came uh, <clears throat> came nice. It's not gonna fall out. It's really well made, except for this part. And I mean, it's not really a big deal. Cotton grip is really nice. Feels tight on your hands. And even though this is sliding away, it doesn't slip. Um, it doesn't move around. So. It's only kind of superficial aesthetic damage. But that's that. This is the my new Iido. I do a lot of my training with.